Divi's full width header module includes the option to add a scroll down button that will automatically redirect the user to the next section when they click it. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to add the scroll down button to your full width header module and how to customize it. All right, let's get started. For today's demonstration, I'm going to be using the free therapy layout pack. There's a link in the description below for how to download that and install it yourself. So I'm going to look for this. I already have it installed. So we're gonna look for the therapy layout pack and I'm going to be using the landing page today. So I'll select the landing page. I'll use this layout. Essentially for this design, what I want to do is replace this hero section that exists within the layout with a full width header section so we can add our button. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to delete this section here and then I'll add a new section. This is going to be a full width section and it's going to be a full width header. And then what I wanna do is make sure that I move that to the top here. So I'll just take this section and drag it below our header. And here we have the header at the top of the page now. So first what I wanna do is add a divider between these sections. So I'll select the section settings here by clicking the gear icon. I'll go to the design tab here. And then under dividers, this is where we're gonna add and style our divider. So we're gonna make a bottom divider. For the style, I'm gonna choose the eighth one down, which is this rounded design. Then for the color, I'm gonna change the color here to this light gray to match the section below it. And all the colors I'm using are also in the blog post in the description below for you. And then for the height, I'm gonna adjust this to 10 VW. So let's save that. And now we'll open our full width header module and make some changes. So we'll select it and then click the gear icon to bring up the module settings. And here's where we're going to adjust all our text. So for our title, we're gonna just have start your journey to feeling better today. And we'll fill in the subtitle as well. And then for the button, we're gonna make this just be make an appointment. And we don't need any body text for this design, so I'll just delete all the body text. Now we'll go down to images and we'll select a header image and we'll use something that makes sense here. So we can use this image here and just click upload. And now we'll adjust the background. So under content, we'll go down to background. I'm going to delete the background that already exists and we're gonna use a gradient background here. So we'll go to gradient background and we'll add a background gradient. So for the first gradient stop, I'm gonna drag this up to about 25% or so. And then we'll adjust the color here to this green color. And then at the 100% stop, I'm gonna adjust this as well. And we'll change this color here to this slightly transparent gray. Then we'll scroll down a bit and where it says place gradient above background image, we're gonna hit that to yes. Now we're gonna go to the background image tab. We're gonna select this and I'll add a background image. So we can change this, add a background image here. Select an image that makes sense here for you. These are all also part of the therapy layout pack that are included. So let's upload this image so that we get this nice soft effect. Now what we wanna do is make this full screen. So under the design tab here, back in our settings, we'll click design tab, then under layout where it says make full screen, we're gonna to toggle this to yes. So now let's clean up and style this design a little more. So in our design tab, we're gonna click that and we're gonna go down to image. So we wanna round the top image here and just the top left corner. So I'm gonna make sure that this is unlinked. If this is linked, a change you make in one corner will change in all of them. So I'm gonna unlink this, change this to 200 pixels so that it rounds the top left corner here. And then what I'm going to do is adjust some of the text settings. So we're gonna to go to the title text and we're gonna adjust the heading level one font. So I'm gonna change this from default font to the Cormont Garamond. And then for the title font weight, I'm gonna make that bold. And then for the title text color, I'm gonna adjust this as well to this nice soft light green. And then I'll adjust the text size here and I'm gonna increase this up to about 90 pixels or so. And then for the line height, I'm gonna adjust this to 1.1 EM. Now we just need to adjust the subtitle text. So scroll down to where it says subtitle text, and then we're gonna change this. And I'm gonna change the font here from default to enter. For the font weight, I'll make this bold as well. For the color, I'm gonna change this here, again to a night, that same soft green we used. For the font size, I'm gonna change this up to about 22 pixels. And for the line height, I'm gonna change this to 1.6 EM to give us a little more room here. Now what we wanna do is just style this button so it looks a little better in our design. So under button one, we're gonna change this for use custom styles to yes. I'm gonna change the text size down to about 14 pixels. And then I'll change the text color. So I'll change that text color here. And then I'm gonna change the background color for it. So let's add a background color. And then we'll put in our background color here. And we're gonna use the same background color that we use for the font up top. And then I don't want there to be a border. So I'm gonna change the button one border width to zero pixels. Where it says border radius, I'm gonna bring this up to about 50 pixels. And then for the font, I'm gonna change this and I'm gonna match that to our enter font that we used before. And I'm gonna make this semi bold. So now let's scroll down to where it has button one padding. And then for the top and bottom padding, I'm just gonna add about 20 pixels of padding there. 
And then for the left and right, I'm going to link this and I'm going to add about 40 pixels of padding to the left and right. So now let's save that and see how that looks on our page. So I'm going to save those settings and then we'll just save those changes. And now I'll exit the visual builder just to check it out. And now we can see what that full width header looks like on a live page. We can see that it has that nice divider that flows into the rest of the design and it matches the look and feel of our page. So now what we want to do is add that scroll down button we were talking about. So let's enable the visual builder and then we'll change our module settings here. So click the little gear icon to bring up the module settings for our full width header. And then under design where it has scroll down icon, all we simply have to do is turn this on. So toggle that to yes. You can see it automatically puts in a scroll down button for you. So from here, you have the ability to change the look and feel of this however you want. You can change the icon, you can change the color, and you can change the icon size to kind of match your design. So let's mess around with this and try a few different examples to show you how it looks. So for instance, we could change this icon to the first one, that's just the bottom arrow. We can change the icon color to match the font we used in our header here to that nice light green. And we can bring up the size of this to about 66 pixels or so. Let's save that and see how it looks on our live page. This is a non-intrusive nice icon that it added. It matches the feel of our header. And then if you click it, it scrolls down for us automatically. Let's try another couple examples. So I'll, en I'll enable the visual builder. We'll adjust our module settings back to design under scroll down icon. So we'll try the seventh icon here. Let's adjust the color. We'll try this color here to match some of the other elements in our design. We'll increase the pixels size up to about 78 pixels or so. And let's see how that looks. So I'll save that. So this is something we could use if we wanted the scroll down icon to be more visible and stand out and not flow into the design as much. You can see if you click it, it scrolls us down and that matches some of the colors that we were using below. And let's try one more example. So again, we'll adjust the module settings, design, scroll down icon. Let's use this eighth icon here. We'll change the color to a darker green and then we'll make it just a little smaller because it's a little bit big. So let's make that about 60 pixels. And you can see that still matches the color of our header, but stands out a little more than the first example. So another thing we can use is we can utilize custom CSS if we wanted to as well to style these. So let's make a couple changes here to this and our regular options. So I'll change the icon, I'll change the color, and I'll make this about 50 pixels. And now what we can do is we can use some custom CSS if we wanted to make this button stand out more. So let's go to advanced, custom CSS, and we'll go to the scroll down button, custom CSS section. And I'm going to paste in some custom CSS that I have here. This is all again in the blog article that's linked below. If we wanted to add even more emphasis to this button and you can use full custom CSS here to stylize the button however you want to. So let's look at this final example. If we wanted to keep this, we'll save it and we'll exit the visual builder to check out our full width header. Be sure to check out the blog article that's linked in the description below. It has all the examples that we use today, including the layout and instructions on how to install that yourself. Also check out some of the other videos that we have on our YouTube channel, including different tutorials, guides, layout packs, and more. Thanks so much for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.